1824. John Quincy Adams was president. Levi Woodbury was the governor of New Hampshire. Beethoven was still alive. The Marquis de Lafayette was touring New Hampshire. And here in Candia, New Hampshire, George Gilbert launched the largest kite ever seen in these parts. It was a box kite made of pine and paper with a very long tail. The kite floated up from Mr. Gilbert's house on High Street to a height of 500 feet on a pleasant day. The contraption would stay in the sky from mid-morning to sunset, and the wonder could be seen from five miles away. People came from all over the state to witness the wonder. The launching of this particular kite began a tradition in this town. Young boys and girls were inspired, and they created their own kites. And for years, Candia was known as the kite town. It was not uncommon on a summer's afternoon to see 12, 13, 14, 15 kites flying all over town. This time around 1824 was also famous for the Great Crow Convention. Every year on a particular bright October day, thousands of crows would descend on a particular hillside overlooking a field. The sounds that they made were deafening. deafening. Candia Town history tells us that on such occasions, from their movements, that they were holding a grand mass meeting to devise ways and means for promoting their mutual welfare. It was no stretch of the fancy, the history tells us, to suppose that three or four patriotic old crows addressed the great multitude and that all of the speakers were greeted with loud cheers, such as only crows know how to give. These annual conventions were generally in session a little more than an hour, and then the crows would rise simultaneously into the air, bade each other adieu, and return to their several homes. Pretty neat.